Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, how you work with layers within Adobe Photoshop. So every photo that you open in Photoshop is its own layer. When you um, add an additional photo, so if I were to place a second photo on top of here, um, that's going to be a second layer. Um, the reason we work with multiple layers is you are able to edit one layer without affecting the other ones. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. In the bottom right hand side of your um, of Photoshop, of your workspace here, um, at the very bottom and next to the little trash can, this is where you can create a new layer. You can also do this um, through the layer um, menu, sorry, layer menu up at the top here and just go to layer, new, layer. I think it's much faster to click the icon down here. Um, if you, let me move this a little bit here. My screenshot is getting in the way. There we go. Okay. Um, so if I click on create new layer, so you can see when I hover over it, create new layer. Um, and now I have a brand new layer that I can um, work on, whether that's I want to add text to it or if I wanted to add a gradient coming in from one side, but I don't want to directly affect the photo underneath in case I want to remove some of it. Um, that's what that new layer is for. The other thing you can do is you can duplicate this layer. So if I right click on it and click duplicate layer, so it says background copy, you can name it whatever you want. Um, let me delete out this one here. <clears throat> so this layer now, anything I do to this layer is not going to affect the bottom one. So let's say that I um, change it to, let's just quickly, I would never change the photo to black and white this way, but let's say we just change it really quick. No, I don't want to do that, just kidding. Um, let's change it to black and white, like this. So even over here, you can see the little thumbnails. The top one is black and white, the bottom one is still color. The other thing you can do is if you click on the little eye that is, um, it even says indicates layer visibility. The one that is next to the thumbnail, if you unclick it, it's going to hide that layer. So it's going to make it so that it's not visible. If I want to see it again, I can click on it. Um, working with layers is very important when editing photos because it helps you um, be able to be free with what you do without affecting the original photo. So I always want to duplicate my layer before I do anything. That way if I edit and edit and edit and then I feel like I've gone too far, I still have that original photo underneath. So I'm not permanently affecting that. Now once I ultimately get done and I like what I have, I like what I've done, then I would merge the layers or flatten the image. So if you right click and flatten the image um, and it will merge all those layers together. So now you have one completed photo. Um, the other thing that you um, will benefit from having multiple layers is when you want to create a layer mask. Um, I'm going to link here how to create layer masks. I'm working with layer masks, so it's, it's um, a separate tutorial video that we get more in depth with what those are for. Um, but essentially, a layer mask allows you to create a layer and do things to that image without affecting the bottom one, such as, um, okay, so now that I have this one in color, or sorry, in black and white, I can create a layer mask and uh, brush off the color in certain areas. So this is where people get that oh, I can't stand it, but where they have a black and white picture with only the color, let me, I'll show you, with only the eyes that are in color. Um, 
So what I'm doing is I am erasing, basically brushing off the top layer so that the bottom layer is revealed. So you can see her eyes are colored. I, I can't stand this. I can't stand when people do that. I think it looks so cheesy. Um, very rarely does a photo that is black and white with a little bit of color ever turn out well, and that's just my opinion. Um, but I just want you to get a feel for why layers are important. Um, the other thing and what is probably the most valuable to me and my company with um, using layers is being able to swap, basically swap eyes or swap heads. So for instance, if you have a, um, a family photo and you know the little toddler, everyone's smiling, it's a perfect picture except you know, the, the three-year-old. So you take a separate photo from that same batch um, where he is smiling and you're able to move him over and blend it seamlessly. And you do that by using a layer mask um, and by having multiple layers. The last thing that I wanna to touch on with layers is using text. Um, and again, here's a link to the text tutorial. Um, but just quickly, if I drag out a box, type in, um, now we'll see if I actually spelled that right since I can barely see it, see it, and enlarge it. Um, so if I type that out, now if I wanted to do something to the background, it is not going to affect that text at all. So let's say I want to put um, a gradient on the background. And I'm doing this just to show you quickly how this works. Um, I have to make sure my background layer is selected. If I have the text layer, the second layer here, that is the top layer. If that's the one that's selected, when I do this gradient here in a second, it's going to affect that layer. So background layer selected. You can see um, it's only affecting the background. Now that might be hard to see because the um, gradient I put on there is black, but watch now when I select the text, I have to hit my T to bring up the text tool. And if I change this to white, so you can see now that didn't affect my text. I can hide the text, make it visible again. The gradient only went on the layer that was selected. So the most, most important thing to remember when working with layers is always make sure that when you are editing that you have the correct layer selected that you wanna do the editing to. And again, I would always recommend duplicating your layer to begin with, your original photo. That way any adjustments you make to the lighting, the color, the temperature, um, you know, liquefying, which is like actually moving part of the hair, the skin, um, all of that, any of those changes are not directly affecting that original picture. Now, again, once you get done um, and you've made all the changes you want, then you can merge it and it's a final photo. Um, but just keep that in mind when you're working. Um, and that is basically an overview of working with layers. Like I said, we'll get into layer masks and um, if you wanna know more about using the text tool um, in later tutorials. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.